All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. And today, I'm going to try to finish this game. Maybe not in this video, but today, I'm going to try to finish this game because I have Halo uh, Infinite coming out tomorrow, and I'm very much looking forward to that. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and complete, uh, complete this game today so I can start a new one tomorrow. So I was supposed to check out some concentration thing in the uh, smoking lounge. I don't think I have it pinned, actually. I'm on the wrong thing altogether. So this is what I want to pin. Pin the evidence. Smoking room. Okay, where? There we go. Okay. A dozen drops of blood. The wounded person was here for some time. We left off, by the way, guys, um, when we had found this dead body and we're trying to figure out the whole murder situation. What the hell went on? It's a, a ritual sacrifice. Smeared blood. And then here we have another bloody handprint. A person leaned against the doorframe. They left a smudged trail of blood. There appear to be no further traces leading to the altar. So, Sherry. Interesting. Do you have any ideas about the case? Perhaps, perhaps. I think I can deduce what happened here. Okay, we'll try our best. I don't really know what we're doing here. You can get 20% off Rogue Energy using my code Apex Island as well, by the way, guys. I'm, I need it today. I need a boost, so I'm having the energy one. I'm having blood orange. All right, we got Marine John. Ooh, that's sweet. We got Marine John ready to go. So someone came in here. Lock the door. Yes, what's the other one? They were locked in here. No, I don't think it's that one. I think they locked the door. They locked the door. And then... It was blunt force trauma. They said. I don't... I think it's this one. They said it was blunt force trauma, mate. Okay. That doesn't look like the right hand, Brent, does it? That's that's his right hand. His left hand, it would have been. That's more like it. Are those not the exact same things? Oh. So it was either an actual person or it wasn't. Okay. Oh no, that was the guy who died, was it? Oh, there was a third one of these. Ah, there was a third one. There was a third one. Hang on, okay. This line cable shit's gonna annoy me now. I didn't realize there was three. There we go, we got it. The bottle was used as a weapon during a scuffle in the smoking lounge. Smashed him with the bottle. to ensure no one would interrupt, the murderer locked the door. The unconscious body of the victim was moved to the altar room. Once the body was on the altar, the murderer thrust the dagger into the victim's heart. Symbols were drawn with the blood. The wardrobe was used to hide the bloodied robe from anyone's eyes. The killer washed himself and took a clean robe from the hangar before leaving. Are you all right? You're on the floor, not moving. <laughs> I think I know what happened here. All right, we know what happened, apparently. Fabio's murder. Have a look. Circumstances of Fabio's death. Oh, here we go. That makes sense. Fabio was killed in a ritual murder. A murder? The ritual was a cover. The ritual was staged. It was a cover for the true murder motive. Fabio was sacrificed on the altar during an occult ritual. I don't know. I really don't, don't know the answer to that one. We'll say he was killed in a ritual murder for now. They didn't use Fabio's key. They already had a key to the altar room, which is a big piece of evidence for us. And that's about it for, for now, at least. Murder is clear the murderer had a key. If I find out who had a key to the altar room, I'll shrink the circle of suspects. Okay, sounds good. I'm starting to put the pieces together. Fabio was stabbed. I see nothing gets past you, Werner. Yes, he was stabbed, <laughs> but only after being knocked out in the next room and placed here. I do not yet know why. So who's responsible? Well, it was one person working alone, and the murderer has now donned a robe. He or she could be hiding in plain sight. We have lost time, Werner, but your discretion may prove to be a benediction after all. The murderer had to have access to this room. Mm -hmm. After the crime, he used his own key to lock the door. So, who had the key to the altar room? I'm not sure. As a special guest, I was provided one by Mr. Manchios. 
He should be able to tell you of any others. Where can I find him? Most likely in the main hall, entertaining his guests. He has a mask with golden stars. You can't miss him. But please be discreet. We don't want to risk disturbing the revelry. Sounds good to me. Okay. But Mancho's appearance. Okay. That's about it for now, I guess. Dark Manchios, let's see what's up, brother. Here's a mask with golden stars in the main hall. Where you at, brother? Oh, are these golden Kurt stars? Manchios, I presume. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yeah. You must this be is the, the fella. One told me about. What a sweet voice you have. It must belong to a handsome young man. Can I call you Sherlock? I literally just As told you, wish, you that's my Mr. name. Mr. Manchios, Mr. Vogel asked me to help you. The body in the altar room requires answers, and quickly, I suspect the murderer to still be here. What? Lower your voice. I don't want anyone to hear us. Did you know Fabio well? People are starting to look at us, Sherlock. Change the subject. I can't believe what happened to him. To me. Such an atrocity. Think what it means for me. Wonderful oh yeah, it's all about you, man. This guy was actually genuinely been. murdered. I have betrayed all my promises of exotic delights. I don't understand. Surely a murder would affect your reputation to a greater extent. Please, isn't this why you are here? I thought you were a silent magician. Do your I don't like this guy. Make it go away. I need to find all those who had the key to the altar room. As far as I know, Mr. Vogel, Fabio, and you had access to it. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Also, Matista and Santos. Santos? Who is that? Santos Pinchetti, my majordomo, in his opinion at least. I'd like to speak to Mr. Pinchetti and Matista. Do you have somewhere I might have a private conversation with them? Of course, of course. Let me think. Matista is entertaining the guest somewhere, and Santos, oh yes, he will be busy with the servants, or the cook. What's that noise? What's going on? Uh-oh. Freeze, filth. You're under arrest. Me? Oh, they're here to arrest everyone, huh? <laughs> It's the Popo! <laughs> They're just beating the hell out of everyone, what the hell? This is gonna ruin our plan, isn't it? Just a tad. This guy's just chilling. Silly, silly bastards. You've ruined the plan. Look You've ruined you. the bloody plan. Committed a crime, and now I have to free you. Kiss your hand and apologize for the inconvenience. I did tell you that Mr. Vogel and I were innocent. I emphasized it in my statement. Your statement? Thanks to some bigwigs who work for the so-called good of the country by releasing fleas like you. Thank God we have Vogel in his letter. Once I get to that goldfish, I'll... Bigwig? Oh, my wretched brother Mycroft and his long nose. Wait, did you say Mycroft? Mycroft Holmes? Are you the youngest son of Violet Holmes, rest her soul? You knew my mother? Not personally, no. Not exactly. I was working on the paperwork for that case. Would you happen to remember anything of the events? Well, I didn't make the inquiry, but I remember seeing some notes. Why? Perhaps we can negotiate. I could be quite useful. Huh. I'm right. Looked, right. You know what? Stark and the others think they're the smartest here, thanks to you. Let me get this straight. 
Are you listening to me, lad? I'm all ears. Take this case. Report to me only, to Constable Harvey Oswald. I'll leave everything I have on this table. Find the murderer. Be a real copper. Question the suspects, make them sing, give me RV some substantial. And if Mr. Amazing. Vogel is not a suspect? If he's innocent, then you can take your favourite degenerate away from here. If you slip or mess with the evidence, then trust me, your brother won't save you from my bludgeon. Meanwhile, I'll be checking the archive for you. If anybody asks, then you're a consulting detective. Let's make a start then, partner. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm going to solve we the case for him. The scoop before the raid. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Police investigation. The police arrested me during a raid on Mancio's mansion. He said he can find the documents relating to my mother's death in exchange for help in solving this case. I agreed. Constable Oswald will be in the archive during my investigation. He left everything he has for the case on the table. Imprisoned Vogel. Vogel is under arrest since he is one of the primary suspects. Gifted cufflinks. Fabio received expensive cufflinks as a present from Mancio's. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got more uh, more evidence. Pinchetto is a major dormo. Okay, let's have a look. Following a report from a witness of the satanic ritual who claimed to have found a body, the raid on the Manchios mansion was granted. It resulted in the arrest of multiple suspects and dispersal of the group in masks and robes caught in the acts of gross indecency and unnatural behavior. The body of the victim found lying on an altar with a knife wound in his chest. The officer had identified Fabio, 20, a local performer and artist. Arrested suspects, Werner Vogel, had a letter of an insulting nature in his possession which had been written by the victim. He claims to have found the body. He is infamous for his eccentric personality. Um, S. Holmes carried a murder weapon, a dagger with the victim's blood, and other items of evidence. He was invited by another suspect, Werner Vogel, presumably to obstruct the official, uh, the official investigation. And then we have Mancios, the owner of the mansion and organizer of the satanic party, paid the victim to participate in the ritual, had access to the crime scene. And Matista, Fabio's partner and participant in the ritual, tried to escape, resisted arrest, owned a book with a description of the ritual performed in the altar room. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, my friend. Let me just check YouTube there. My internet's back for now. My video is uploading. It's at 6%. Woohoo. Let's see if it keeps uploading. Got to 6% in about half an hour because my internet keeps going down. All right, we got a key with number five on it. Back on track to solve the case. Use the interrogation room. I Santos Pinchetti, I'm a witness who reports a suspicious uh, suspicion of murder at Mancho's mansion in Gran Sare. Oh, Pinchetti was the one who uh, sent in the letter, though. Oh, okay. There was blood on the wall, strange symbols, and a dagger in the heart. As soon as I was able to think clearly, I rushed to the police station to report my findings. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think Pinchetti's probably guilty, eh? He's trying to pass it off against someone else. We got a ticket here, is it? Uh huh. All right. Interesting. Vincetti is the suspect. He should be arrested and questioned. He had a key which he did not mention in his deposition. Let's make sure none of these le um, link up. I don't think they do. Got lots of stuff to talk about here. Santos is a suspect. Yada yada yada. Let's go talk. I can't go back to prison. <laughs> All right, John. Look, I found Werner. Where? Hey, Werner, what's up, bro? Werner, are you all right? Oh yes, yes. Everything's fine. In fact, it's something of a family reunion. My brother spent quite some time in this place himself. You should not be here. I told the police everything I knew, but they refused to let you go. They require proof to free you. Ha! What did you expect? The mighty Sherlock Holmes swans in, tells the officers what to think, and the world obeys? Of course not. Anyway, I struck a deal with the constable, and I've got a free hand in the investigation. I find proof to solve the case for him. He obtains files about my mother's death for me. Well done. If one has the power or will and can act, then one must. I wonder... Suppose you couldn't get the proof to your truth. Would you tell a lie to the guard that enabled my freedom, knowing my innocence? Would that not be just? 
I, I suppose that in the pursuit of justice, if truth was ineffectual, then one must resort to other means to achieve the outcome. I would do it. Oh, Sherlock, that is sweet of you. Alas, if the police are after hard evidence, then I suppose neither truth nor lie would do. That is absurd. I can resolve this without compromises. Do not give up hope. We're gonna, we're gonna do this for you, buddy. I can't follow you here. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I have learned who told the police about the crime. It was Santos Pinchetti. Do I know him? The major domo of the manor. He cleans up after you? Well, then he does his job perfectly. All but invisible. I couldn't tell you the first thing about him. Interesting. Hmm, okay. And say anything more to him? a bunch of losers. Damn, John. I know you can untangle this mess. Seems unnecessary, bro. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. What's up, bro? Okay. What else can we talk about? Santos is a su suspect. Evidence ticket. Witness death position. Gifted cufflinks. Good day, Mr. Manchos. Mr. Manchos. I am Constable Oswald's partner in this investigation. Be quick and gentle. Some of your colleagues are untrained boars. <laughs> well, I don't mind meeting young officers. The new blood. We're wearing the exact same outfit as a little bit suspect. finding Fabio's murderer, there will be no need to meet with the boars again. That oh. voice. Furnace, friend? Oh. oh Lord, the policeman. What a disappointment. Only an undercover agent can scour a ditch full of deviants. I am a consulting detective. Although I'm capable of replacing the entire department through my consultations. Sharp-tongued, I like it. May I presume this tongue will get us out of this trouble? I would be so indebted and glad to repay you. Nothing's changed. I'm looking for the murderer. That's the only way to get us out of trouble. But it shouldn't take much time, correct? We're all busy, after all. I need to examine you first. Let's observe him. Where's makeup? Interesting. Washed his hands in a hurry. Soap under fingernails. I mean, yeah, he could potentially still be the murderer, I guess. Quality polished leather. Lavishly expensive. There's something behind his ear there. Is it a bruise? A rash from exposure, uh, exposure to hair dye. Hides his age. Stickler for cleanliness. He's extremely rich, eccentric, and frivolous. He is the organizer of the parties for Cardona's Elite and the owner of Manchio's Mansion. He spends his life in the company of similarly overly privileged people. However, Mr. Manchio's wishes to hide his true age from the younger participants of his parties. Yeah, I think that's it. I do think that's it, honestly. All right. You are a little over the top with your use of makeup, Mr. Manchios. Is it so difficult for you to acknowledge your age? Well, Sherlock, that's easy for you to say to an old man when you look as though you are barely 15. <laughs> Still, it shouldn't be an issue for someone of your status. For people of my age, it isn't an issue, no. But the younger ones can be so afraid of wrinkles and grey flecks. I have to adapt. Such a methodical man who cares for his body but misses the soap under his fingernails. Are you so impatient, or perhaps even impulsive? I wouldn't call myself that. Silly little details. If I missed it, it wasn't important. Or rather, it was less important than who or what I was focused on. Hmm. What was Fabio like? His personality, his habits? Anything you can tell me? He was the brightest star of my parties. Young, magnetic, and full of energy. I don't even want to mention his beauty. Otherwise, I'll be sobbing. An expensive champion, I imagine. His performances were flawless. He deserved his payment. Do you think he was murdered because of money? Possibly. What about the other guests? Were they used to opening their wallets as well? I wouldn't restrict my guests from anything. I'm sure Fabio received a few coins from others for his services. Mr. Vogel told me a little about your parties, but I would like to know more directly from you. I'm all yours, Sherlock. You have me arrested and locked here with you alone. 
Hmm. Why did you invite Vogel? I'd like to know who you usually invite to your parties. Free minds who are able to leave reality for an evening, who can taste forbidden fruit without prejudice. There is nothing that quite spices up life like these parties, assuming one is old enough and has worked many years for the good of one's country. Oh, all true laborers, I see. Why did you invite Mr. Vogel as your special guest? He's a pretty fellow. He's capable of surprising the public. He has a talent for saying words that no one else would wish to either say or hear. I suppose I can't argue with that. Fair enough. He is a free addition to the eccentricity of the party, which is fine by me, as long as it enhances my party. I've no idea about that. Evidence ticket. That's not something I know much about. Witness deposition. Do you have any idea who tipped off the police to raid your mansion, Mr. Manchios? Of course. It was you. I could even say you Sherlocked me in here. <laughs> A good guess, but the wrong one. The fellow who did that was Mr. Pinchetti, your major domo. What? Santos? But how could he even know? If he's not the murderer himself. The ungrateful swine. He has dared to besmirch my reputation. Not a very eloquent choice of words. What should I call him then, since he's a snitch? Make him talk, Sherlock. I'm quite certain he knows more about the murder than he has told the police. Okay, I'll try my best. You'd better ask someone else. You'd better ask someone else. I'm just gonna else. go through all of them. <laughs> I have no idea about that. It's always better just to rule out I have every no idea option. About that. That's not something I know much about. I've no idea about that. Gifted cufflinks, we do need to ask you about this. You bought an expensive pair of cufflinks for Fabio. Were they his price? Or were they a tip for an exclusive show? It was pure business. Fabio escorted me a few times. I was merely showing my gratitude. This pair cost a small fortune. You must be extremely grateful then. Tell me more. You've thrust a knife in an exposed nerve, Sherlock. Yes, he was my protege and my beacon also. With my experience and his beauty, we could have achieved anything. I had faith in him. I would have made him. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We gotta talk to Santos next, I guess. Is he even here, though? Oh, Kurt Manchos is scrupulously clean. And the murderer did clean themselves, but I don't know if that really... I mean, of course they would clean themselves because... Like, you know, they were covered in the, the, the blood of the other person, you know? He has a washing routine. Manchios set himself up for debauchery. Manchios washed himself after the murder. I go for the left one. I don't think it was Manchios, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, none of these link up. Okay. No worries. We're out of here. How about you, lady? You know anything? I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. Oh, this is Matista. You are Matista, Fabio's friend. This body. Yes, it's Matista. But it's a mere shell that will die someday. Just like Fabio. Okay then, lady. You are weird, but okay. Condolences. Please accept my condolences for your friend. Thank you. I'm just here to ask no questions worries. and find Fabio's murderer. It will not bring Fabio back. Doesn't have to. You get justice. Little tattoo there. Primitive occult tattoo. She inks herself. She's got scars all on her right hand here. Old and healing cuts, self inflicted. Bitten nails, nervous. Okay. Inflicted with a branding iron. Yikes. And bad vibes from this. Blood filled bruises obtained recently. Chains around her ankles. What the hell's going on here? It punishes herself for the past. All scars are the result of her slavery during adolescence. She continues to be haunted by these traumatic experiences. She has a genuine interest in mysticism. 
And she, has, and she has tattooed on her body with occult systems. Symbols, rather. Systems. <laughs> do you think she do you think she sells herself or do you think she punishes herself for the past? I don't really know the answer to this one. I'm gonna say disassociated from her body. I don't know if that's true or not. You have both old and new scars. Some from the time when you were a slave with Fabio. Other scars have a different origin. The guests pay good money to torment you? I am skilled in giving pleasure, but I don't participate in such practices. I thought your body was... For sale. It's true. Many unwanted things were done to my body. Okay, so I was wrong. And the pain helped me to discover... Occult deities? Yes, the tattoo Yeah, honestly, the, the scars yes. were self-inflicted. I should have known that. Your gods abandoned me. And the ones I favor now are more protective of me. How did you escape? Something happened. One night, the master fell down the stairs. I made him fall. And he died. We ran away that day. We managed to get on a ship and traveled here. To Gordona. Fabio and I started a new life here. It was very hard at first, but it became better with time. Until today. The bruises on your neck are not self-inflicted. Someone else made them. Some guests can't contain themselves. They even bite. Sometimes. Mm. I know I can handle the news. I know I can handle the news. Okay, so we can't talk to her about anything else? That's it? Okay. Matista was bruised by the guests. Oh, uh, Fabio bruised Matista during their fight in the smoking lounge. Fabio bruised Matista. I don't know about that one. Not sure about that one. Huh. I don't think that's true. We'll see. We'll see. All right, who else can we talk to? Hello, anybody here? Ah, Constable, Ar uh, he's in the archives, okay. Where is Constable? Where is the bloody Constable? Where are the archives? Am I tripping balls right now? Here they are, here they are, here they are. I got some evidence for you, brother. I've nothing to say about this. Have you considered Mr. Santos Pinchetti as a suspect? The snitch? Have you seen him? I mean, my breath could knock him down. What's so special about him? As a major domo, he has keys that open all the rooms, including the one to the crime scene. He could have testified only to circumvent suspicion, don't you think? We need to question him. Right. I'll send our men to fetch him. Stay here. Ooh. They brought him in, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to interrogation room number seven. Mr. Pinchetti didn't even resist, our men said. Thank you. Interesting. Okay, let's go talk to him. Oh. Investigation, interrogation room seven, rather. Which one is room seven? This is three. Five, seven. Here he is, the little freak. Mr. Pinchetti. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. I've already told him everything I know. I'm only a witness, sir. Everything's in my report. And I've read it. You forgot to mention that you hold the keys to the room where Fabio was found. I need only to find if the crime was intentional. But I need to return to my duties. I doubt the house will fall without you, Mr. Pinchetti. Just be still for a few seconds. Yeah, shut your damn mouth, all right? All right, let's see what the, let's see what his story is. He's got some bruises on his neck. Inflamed skin. Okay. Repaired multiple times. Patched holes. Colored more than once. Dyed textile. Stepped in blood. Interesting. Santos Pinchetti is the head servant at the Mancio's mansion. Oh, shit. Someone at my door. 
let's say he has financial difficulties, I guess. You are the major domo of a rich mansion, and you seem barely able to afford decent clothing. You hide, under heavy makeup, a skin disease that might be treated with more onerous but less harmful means. Do you have money troubles? I do not have a lot of means. The pay is below what you might expect. But you could easily change your job if your employer does not meet your elementary needs. One can change his employer, that is true. And the blood on your shoe, where does that come from? I don't actually know. Mm. Perhaps from a guest. Interesting. Did you know Fabio? Uh, not personally. He was a frequent guest, and cleaning the mess after his performances was tedious. Mr. Manchios always had a role for him, and mainly the leading one. The parties were always some um, Fabio centric. And Matista? Was she as popular as her partner? Don't tell her I said this, but I do not think so. Mr. Manchios hired her only because Fabio refused to work without her. Mr. Manchios used to see her as a worker. She was tasked with entertaining the guests, unlike Fabio, who could pick and choose. Interesting. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry, I forgot to give my dog a tablet, so I'll be right back. Evidence ticket. We still need to find out this evidence ticket thing. Blood on Pinchetti shoe. Oh, yes. And the murderer had cleaned himself. Failed to notice a blood stain on the side of his shoe while cleaning himself after the murder. Interesting. Okay. Pinchetti accidentally stepped in blood while discovering the crime scene. Or failed to notice a blood stain. I think I think he failed to notice the blood stain. I think hmm, I don't know though. We still don't have enough evidence to go one way or another, I don't think. Please let me out. Oh, here's the evidence room, okay. Good eye. Let me in. Check it, please, if you want me to help you. All right, and um, where's my ticket? Where the hell's my bloody ticket then? There it is. I'd like to check the evidence from this case. And who are you? Oswald sent me. I'm a consulting detective. His partner then? Let me see. Ah, oh, a ritual murder. What a bunch of degenerates. Wait a second, I'll bring it to the table. Sounds good. All right. Here we go, okay. We got... This is Werner Vogels. Emergency kit for boredom. The letter was found in Vogel's evidence box. Is your mind unsound? You can't control your bitterness, not around me anyway. For me, it's too great a risk to ignore that kind of behavior. I can be, speak, and play with anyone I choose. I'm not another Matista. You pay me, but you haven't bought me. Of course, I'll keep all your generous donations, even though they hardly compensate for your last terrible outburst. I'm leaving you, although Matista will still be around. This is a letter from Fabio to Vogel. Interesting. Not the time for privacy. Very interesting. Werner's personal sketchbook. Should we look inside that? It's a miracle this ruby hasn't tempted anyone. Got the keys. All the keys of the mansion on one golden ring. A heavily perfumed handkerchief with the initials KM in the corner. It could manchus. A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. Ew. Her key to the altar room. Power of love, blood and mandrake. That's not for bedtime reading. This ex libris belongs to Manchios Library. The police found this occult book in Matista's bag during the arrest. According to the ex libris, the tomb was taken from Mr. Manchios' collection. It contains illustrations and descriptions of a ritual similar to the crime scene. Prepare the naked body of a recently deceased object of interest. Draw symbols of Mars and Venus to enhance the power you possess to use the force of male and female nature. Pierce his heart with a golden dagger to be rid of the blood that does not love you. Draw a symbol representing your love while waiting for the resurrection. Recite the charm. Ah, it could have been Matista potentially because she heard that he was leaving, I the guess? describes a ritual similar to the one performed in the altar room. Thank you, officer. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Letter from Fabio. Power of love. Santos was arrested and placed in the interrogation room 7, along with his confiscated belongings. Yes, we know this. So we can now go back and talk a little bit more, I think. Power of love. Those don't link, really? Oh, no. So I was trying to do this and this. No, that still doesn't link. Okay. Okay. The power of love. It comes from above. All right. Let's go in here and check out what's going on. We got to talk to Werner Vogel and we got to talk to... Uh... What do we got to talk to Werner Vogel about? Not this. A letter from Fabio. That's it. All right. A letter from Fabio. So what's up? The police found a letter from Fabio in your pocket. I cannot tell if it was truly in my pocket at all. Perhaps it was placed there later. Well, that is one hypothesis. If it were true, then how did it get there? No clue. But this night has been rather eccentric. Such a detail could have easily eluded me. Indeed. Do you recall reading it? I can't remember that either. But I tend to respect privacy. Reading others' personal notes is not one of my perversities. Okay. So he's just gonna straight up... Hmm. Please let me out. No. No, I will not. You're never getting out, you little scumbag. To talk to you about this. This book, The Power of Love, Blood and Mandrake, what do you hope to achieve? To learn more about the invisible strengths that govern us. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I escaped... I made him fall. I cast a spell on him and it worked. Or was it a coincidence? The universe is really so lazy. If you say so. Okay. This is the letter the police found in Mr. Vogel's pocket. Fabio wrote it. Do you know anything about it? I don't. Although I can feel Fabio's energy. It's there, but it refuses to let me analyze it. Do you practice occult rituals? For protection? For fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? Sometimes to survive. I have the gift, and I'm learning to use it better. Did you use your gift on Fabio? I only used white magic. Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. I just wanted him to be with me, but I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought. Okay. So she admitted she tried to get him to be with her, but I don't know. Okay. Maybe not to the level of she trusted in the occult over Fabio. Batista may have used a ritual on Fabio. Bring his love back. That's about everything, I think. So let's go talk to Kurt Manchios again. Um, Matista's profile, the power of... Do you of recognize blood. this book? Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were inspiration for the rituals you performed? Do you really believe that blood, symbols, and incantations can resurrect the dead? They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism and voodoo. My rituals are a stage to show some of the forbidden pleasures. Letter from Fabio. I read this letter from Fabio. It had no addressee, but it was found in Mr. Vogel's pocket. Werner? Strange. I didn't think the two of them corresponded. I'm sure there is some explanation. Would you care to read it? Call me superstitious, but I don't care to read a letter from a dead I think man. the letter was probably meant for him, huh? But it's hard to, it's hard to say, really. Huh. Now we've pretty much done all we can, huh? He even appears to have been the first person to find the body that makes him a perfect suspect. I should tell Constable Oswald in the archives to question him. Santos was arrested and placed in interrogation room 7 along with his confiscated belongings. So I should probably look at his belongings in here as well, huh? I don't think I did look at his belongings. No, I didn't. Okay, interesting. 
Okay, he's got the keys. I recognize the key from the altar room among these. And a letter. Santos, my hopeful slog, you begged me to include you in my will, so I did. Here's my latest revision of the will. Hurt. The text of the will under the note. Santos Pinchetti, the major domo of the Mancios Mansion, receives a jar of mustache wax and a salt lamp that he might always remember his caring employer by. Hurt Mancios. That's messed up, dude. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> okay. So we can talk about that. We can ask him, maybe. Mr. Manchios says that you begged him to be included in the heritage. Isn't that a little extreme, even for a major domo? He's not only my employer, he's my uncle. And I'm his next of kin. The only one. Mm. Mr. Manchios flatly refuses to pay a family member. All I have to do is repay his so-called love cleaning up the filth after perverts and decadence. He's imprisoned me. The best I can hope for is a new broom. That's why I wanted to have my part of the inheritance. Is it that bad? You have a roof above your head, a salary, and the status of a major domo. For God's sake. I'm forced to dye and stitch my threadbare clothes, and the holes in my shoes are painful. I'm ashamed every time a guest looks at me closely. Why do you think your uncle treats you this way? My mother, my uncle's sister, had me illegitimately. She died and I was given the surname of one of the maids. But you are entitled to some of the money that belongs to your family. He thinks not. I was not responsible for my mother's death. I work hard and he pays me nothing. I feed on the leftovers. While he wastes our estate's property on decadent parties. He paid Fabio handsomely and showered him with expensive gifts for their disgusting relationship. Hmm. Interesting. Letter may have been Mancios. According to Santos Pinchetti, and by the content of the letter, it may have been addressed to, uh, addressed to Kurt Mancios. Yes, 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 yes. I'm starting to lead toward he accidentally stepped in blood now. Anyone else? <laughs> Matista was bruised by the guests. Fabio was killed in a ritual murder. Ritual was a cover. Hmm. I'm starting to think more and more the ritual was a cover now. Kurt Mancio's will and note and letter from Fabio. Who can we still talk talk to about the letter from Fabio? Maybe Werner we could ask about the, uh... I have reason to believe that the intended recipient of the incriminating letter may have been Kurt Manchios. Well, that makes sense. Too bad I can't remember how I came to possess it. Though I did spend quite some time with Mr. Manchios during the party. Did he put it in your pocket? Unfortunately, even with an answer, that may still not be enough to clear you with the police. But fear not. I will persevere. I hope your attempt to put things straight will make up for you being on a bender. Touche. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Manchios, I guess. He's the only person I think we can talk to about this now. You'd have to bloody assume, eh? There is undeniable evidence that you were the original recipient of this letter. What are you talking about? Is it addressed to me? Your protege wanted a fresh start, it seems. This is sufficient to charge you. Me? Hurt my star? Are you insane that you would accuse me of such a thing? He did not consider himself as yours. Since you deny everything, let's move on. Do you have any idea as to how the letter could have ended up in Mr. Vogel's pocket? You were the detective. Perhaps he took it from Fabio. Werner was a little high. <laughs> okay. I've read the letter about your will. A harsh method of ridiculing Santos. I doubt he will use mustache wax when he wears no mustache to begin with. Where did you get it? Is the slug here? Tell him. I shouldn't have to provide for him. He's a grown man who shouldn't sit on his uncle's neck. He conceives himself as my only heir. And who is he to you? He's a leech on my aging body. He has only added problems to my life since the death of his mother. I fail to see why you made him your major domo. He needed to know his place, so I taught him. 
This guy's an asshole, dude. This guy's a complete jerk off. Letter from Fabio. Either Vogel or Manchios is lying. Vogel took the letter under influence. Manchios planted the letter. I think Manchios planted the letter. And Manchios washed himself after the murder, eh? I think so. I think we're getting to that point now. We're, fi we're figuring this thing out. Santos Pinchetti's efforts in vain. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's talk to Matista about this. A letter from Fabio. Could Fabio have written this letter to Kurt Manchios? Oh. That could be. I never thought Mr. Manchios could make Fabio that angry, though. What do you mean? Well, Fabio wanted to disassociate from Mr. Manchios. Clients who are in love are both a blessing and a curse. But Fabio was here tonight. Money. In our line of work, we can't afford to turn down clients who pay as well as Kurt Manchios. Was Fabio afraid of Mr. Manchios? Not at all. The old toad wouldn't dare to do more than sweet talk and touching. Talk can be forgotten, and touching washed away. Hmm. Okay. Fabio was burning bridges with Manchios. Fabio shattered Kurt Manchios' feelings. And this all leads to a crime of passion. A sexual predator. He staged the crime as a ritual to blame Matista. He planted the letter in Vogel's pocket to avoid suspicion. Manchios has no consideration for the life of others and deserves to be hanged. Kurt Manchios was heartbroken and panicked and did not need to kill Fabio. The improvised ritual was a desperate attempt to cover up the crime. A prison sentence should be enough, for his harsher punishment is the death of his love. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like this, uh, this first one is correct. Like, he didn't mean to kill him. Or, well... I don't know. I think it was rather a crime of passion than murdering him in cold blood. I don't know. Uh, is there still someone we can talk to about this? Because it does say it letter here we can talk to someone about it who could we talk to about it though i'm gonna leave for a I second appreciate your cooperation mr manchios i think i've talked to everyone now am i not who else could i talk to about this him maybe this letter proves nothing. Fabio wrote it to Mr. Manchios. It's time to free Mr. Vogel. Do you really think I'm that naive? I need proof, not words from his friend. Very well. Mr. Pinchetti told me that Mr. Manchios was lavishing Fabio with expensive and eccentric gifts. The letter mentions rich rewards and attempts to buy Fabio with them. It was written to Mr. Manchios. Who else was showering Fabio with luxuries to buy him? It doesn't fit Mr. Vogel's character. Look here. We had a deal. Give me the murderer and then take your friend with you. I won't budge otherwise. Well, fine, but you're just wasting time. I think that's pretty much it now. That's all of the evidence. A crime of passion. Hmm. Probably does still deserve to be hanged, but uh, we'll stick with the crime of passion. Kirk Manchios is the murderer. Let's go accuse him. Sorry, Kurt, but you are the murderer, the my murderer friend. The murder of Fabio did not have a ritual purpose, Mr. Manchios. It was staged by a man who wished to distract the investigation. That might be true. That poor girl, Matista, wouldn't dare to kill the only man who cared for her. So, Santos. Mr. Pinchetti snatched at the chance to solve his problems. Ungrateful little scum. Will he be executed? But what for? He informed the police as to the crime, that was all. He couldn't stage the ritual, but he found the body, I believe. I can't believe it. Why did Werner do it? Mr. Vogel, he had no reason, and he won't be a scapegoat as you plan. You put Fabio's letter in his pocket when he was intoxicated, didn't you? You can't be serious. We can very often deduce someone's life by their shoes, or their fingernails. You are a meticulous person, but this murder was fairly traumatic and filthy. 
After you stabbed Fabio, you were covered in blood. You panicked and neglected to rinse the soap from under your fingernails. The devil is in the details, Mr. Manchios. Nonsense. I missed it simply because of the busy schedule of the party. Of course, a stage murder was certainly not planned. You're at the twilight of your life. You have no partner, you have no children. You had feelings, however, for one man. That was Fabio. You loved him. That is, you wished to own him with money and gifts. But he was also a free mind, was he not? He turned his back on you. Quite unjust, love, so cruel and painful, and Fabio, with his words and deeds, made you feel the more wretched. So you killed him. You must surely perceive that my sensitive nature wouldn't allow me to hurt anyone. You staged the murder as a satanic ritual. It was easy for you, since you were the one who wrote the scenarios for the parties. It was your way of avoiding suspicion. A respectable man in his 60s, early 60s, who hosts the cream of Cordona society, cannot possibly be a murderer. But the guests who behave like animals in his mansion, of course, one of them could have killed Fabio. I did oversee a few of the rituals, but I did not stage Fabio's death. Fabio played with your feelings. That was painful to realize. You spent so much time and effort to be with Fabio, but he didn't respond in the way that you would have liked. You wanted to be loved, but Fabio shattered your dreams. In the smoking lounge, he teased and mocked you. He wanted you to suffer by offering himself to others. The deception was unbearable. You were passionate, and so you struck him. Once you understood your mistake, it was too late. You were we afraid, so you staged the ritual. With such a story, you might be sentenced to a few years. It might clean your conscience, and soon the case will be forgotten. No. No. This is my decision. I'll talk to Constable Oswald. I think he should get more than a few years. I hope he doesn't get a few years. Like, that would be stupid. <laughs> he needs to get more than that. That's for damn sure. I feel like he should get a lot more than that. I mean, well, it was a crime of passion, but at the same time, he needs to go to jail for longer than that. There's no fool like an old fool. Kurt Manchios did it. A young boy played with the heart of an old man. The latter couldn't handle it. The evidence I obtained clearly shows that the quarrel was not intended to end badly. It was an accident. Showing pity towards your own kind, Holmes. <laughs> Whatever. All I'm saying is that prison won't take much away from an old and crushed man. Fine. A Big name like that will still give me a promotion. As for my part, not everything was in place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Then I remembered the discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labelled ones, including the crime scene report of Violet Holmes's case. Mm. Everything I've found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yeah, well, we had a deal after all. Your friend is free then, you can leave. Good luck, Constable. Awesome. Thank you, good sir. Officers arrived to find a deceased identified as Miss Violet Holmes lying in the garden of Stonewood Manor. Visual inspection showed the victim to be thoroughly soaked with a deep vertical incision two inches in length down her throat. Her face was swollen and covered in red blotches, likely cause of death. Hypoxia, awaiting confirmation from medical examiner. Main suspect, Otto Richter, was arrested on the scene. The body was sent for autopsy. Wow. She was murdered? garden. There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. Sherry, it looks like you've almost found what you wanted. Indeed. Has Werner gone? Werner's gone. So are we nearly done the game now? Oh, it doesn't even give me the percentage. Oh, it's because I'm offline, I think, yeah. Usually it gives me the percentage of how long I have left in the game and stuff like that. But because my internet's down at the moment, it does not. A mother's love. Back we go. Death by hypoxia. She drowned. She didn't drown. The slit on my mother's throat was an attempted tra- uh, track- I don't know.
I don't think she drowned, if that was the case. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, you did it, Sherlock. Hey, the case I did is it. closed and all rewards belong to the winner. Bravo. Victorious. It is merely the triumph of the truth. Is it? No compromises? No lies? You're happy with your decisions? It was the best decision I could obtain. The truth must be told in the way it is most acceptable. You're making progress, Sherlock. I was right to believe in you. You were. By the way, did you get that precious information about your mother? Oh, not that you must. Yes, I did. Forgive my intrusion in such a personal matter. I simply worry I'm failing to be of much help to you. Actually, you were. For some reason, all the archives on the case had disappeared. This was a rare opportunity to obtain the impossible. Outrageous. Perhaps someone found the truth unpleasant. Society usually rejects those who speak with too much honesty, doesn't it? A comfortable lie is often preferred to an uncomfortable truth. Still, I believe that the latter should prevail, and I cannot remain silent. That's quixotism at its best. Your mere truth cannot defeat institutions, systems, and power. Etiquette, religion, marriage, they're all lies told to preserve connections, love, and sanity, and it's all corruptible. Lies destroy human dignity. How could you make a free decision without any knowledge of the truth? Are we really free to decide anything in this world, Sherlock? Oh, yes. It's a struggle, but yes, we can make our own decisions. That's what I fight for. And what an endless fight it is. Will you ever give yourself a break, Sherlock? You're a walking contradiction, Sherlock. You refuse to He says to my lie name to way others, too much. <laughs> but constantly lie to yourself. How long until the train comes off the track? I cannot look away, but perhaps I should take a few steps back. You're an accident waiting to happen, dear. Until then, I shall bid you adieu. Thanks, Werner. Sayonara, brother. All right. Get the hell out of this place, huh? I'm gonna try to reset my router one more time. All right, I wonder how close I am to the end, actually. Head back to Stonewood Manor, though. Let's head back, boys. Let's freaking do it, baby. Splinted memory. There's a garden out the back. Let's go out the back garden. See what the hell's going on. Here we are. John, let Sherry, me out. Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. I don't know what is beyond this door, but I can feel it. Buzzing. Angry, like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And truth? You do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona. So many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. John, my animum. This is the brother, end, I think. There is nothing the more last important case. in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me. But my path was set long ago. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just... Please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. I'm nervous about this. Sherlock Holmes. With his best friend, John. I'm gonna go put my slippers on. Memories in the manor, my friends. Spent my Why childhood didn't in Stonewood Banner. We had such a big garden. Maybe you forgot it for your own good. Maybe. There's quite a large garden, I must say. Beautiful one. Ah, yes. The statue of Merope. My mother was trying to restore it. What a pity she never had the opportunity to finish. I love the music that plays. That's the descendant of a tree your father planted in London, correct? Indeed, we planted the sprout here, and for a while it grew happily. 
Alas, it seems without us here to care for it, it didn't survive. It's actually quite a sad story, you know, Sherlock's one. He's got no one. He's all alone, he's got no one. And he has an imaginary friend, for God's sake, because he doesn't have anyone to actually talk to in real life. It's quite a sad story, I must say. His mother's died. His brother, if he doesn't speak to his brother. His dad is gone. Like, damn. Can I stop? Oh god, here's the memory. I'm actually not looking forward to this. This is gonna be really sad, isn't it? Mother? That's from Mother's favorite tea set. What is it doing in here? Come here, Sherry. Hurry. These must help calm her down. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? No. Brought her tea. Risk of side effects. Dr. Richter experimented on, experimented on my mother with unconventional drugs and treatments. Every dose had a risk of side effects. My mother used sedatives frequently, so her body must have built up a tolerance. It wouldn't be a danger to her. Allergic reaction. My mother had an ex unexpected allergic reaction to her medication and she suffocated. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? No. I don't think it is. What am I supposed to do now? What are you looking at here, John? Oh, wait. Oh, God. Don't go, Mother. Wait. I remember this artifact from Mother's collection. <laughs> Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. Okay. <sighs> Another clue. Here it is. Here it is. We'll just borrow it for a while. Did you hear that? Someone's coming. Let's take a peek. We're going through the scenes now. You, you call this progress? Short. Amateur. I'm not, I'm not letting you anywhere near my mother again. again. Any result is progress, even if it is a worsening of her condition. It informs my... No. I have made my decision. She must be sent to a legitimate medical facility. I will not let her hurt, Sherlock. What? Master Holmes, you do not understand. That will be all. I expect you to have left the house by week's end. Okay. Mycroft. Looking to protect us. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Sherry, come here, darling. Sherlock, I'm here. Come closer. I'm coming, mother. I'm waiting. Coming, for you. mother. This was for my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. Ooh. 
Take me to my flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, Mum. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on, if you want. That would be wonderful. Why didn't we? Just look at them. The stars of the Earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. It looks so peaceful. Mycroft knew you would like it. We should put some fish in it, don't you think? How about some carp? That's a nice idea. Let's visit your father's tree. Oh, look it at it. It grows so fast, just like you. We could even build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. Man, making me Speaking sad. Speaking of your father, could you call him out, please? Mom! He's... I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No. Don't you dare say such things. <laughs> you are a liar like all the others. Mother! Don't call me that. You are fooling me. No! Mommy hurts! My son would never lie. Mom, stop! Who are you? Reveal yourself! Please, stop! It's me, Sherlock! You are not my Sherry! Give me my son, I can't you! Ooh. This is really messed up. Like this is the Shutter Island levels. Like that that's what that reminded me of, Shutter Island. Wow, this is blowing me away. My mother tried to kill me. My mother tried to drown me in the pond at Stonewood Manor. John is the killer. I killed my mother without knowing it. The idea to give her sedatives came from John, which means that I cannot trust my own mind. To heal myself, I must get rid of John. Mycroft hid the truth to protect me. I killed my mother. I am responsible for my mother's death. It was my idea to give her medication, which caused the allergic reaction that killed her. It's my guilt. Mycroft hid the truth to protect me. What? Mycroft accused Dr. Richter. After Mycroft caught Otto Richter, he blamed him for our mother's death. Someone drowned my mother. Otto Richter is responsible. My mother Violet was drowned by Otto Richter. Mycroft accused him of murder, but it's unclear if Otto killed her deliberately. Otto killed my mother while trying to save me. The drowning was an accident, and he desperately attempted a brachiectomy to save her. Mycroft hid the truth to protect me and wrongly accused Otto. You see, I'm tempted to go for this one just so Sherlock doesn't goddamn blame himself the entire bloody time. But I think it might be that she didn't drown. I'm going to go with Otto Richter accidental. Okay, I'm going to go with this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing it. Auto Richter accidental, holy shit, I don't know. Sherlock. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on. I feel up. like this might be the wrong choice, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Get off me. Sherry. You knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. Otto Richter murdered my mother, and Mycroft covered it up. Whisked me away from this place, buried me in schoolwork, and, and left the past to rot. And you needed a way to cope, so I helped. You were a lie, John, a fiction, a crutch. No, I was... Minecraft. I was a friend. Sherlock, please. Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. A truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. I'm just disappearing. Sherlock, what are you doing? You... You kept me in the dark and kept your actions quiet. You enabled Richter and his untested quackery for far too long. And worse, you wanted to lock up our mother. I wanted to give you a chance at normalcy, a childhood. There was no changing what happened, no good to come of dwelling in the past. It was lies upon lies. Otto Richter was trying to save her, but you decided he deserved to take the fall. Is that justice? The big picture, Sherlock. The big picture. Perhaps Richter was not responsible for her fit of rage, but his treatment yeah, led um, inexorably to that moment. It did. It did, Sherlock. You were so fragile. I could not... I, I just couldn't. I chose us over I him. still think he was, like, responsible. You know... For once, I believe you. Perhaps now that the truth is out, I can actually do what you had hoped. Leave it all in the past. Good. You have your whole life ahead of you, Sherlock. It is time you got on with it. I needed more Minecraft. We didn't get enough of them in this game. I was worried there for a minute, Sherry. Really worried. I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> What's so funny? I am talking to myself, John. I think I was hurt regardless. But we made a good team, eh? Explored every inch of this place together. Helped a lot of people. Terrorized a few too, I suppose. I think I may go so far as to say, Sherry, that I have not lived wholly in vain. So that's it. It's over. You've opened every door, Sherry. Faced the past, you locked away. Over. You don't need me anymore. I know. I will miss you all the same. I don't want you to go. Bye, John. Damn. I have a feeling the other endings might have been a little bit better than that, but we'll see. Remember everything. I want to check out what the other endings are like. I'm going to check that out after the video, probably. To see what the other endings are like, you know? Check out all the endings, because... I don't know, that, that final part there with our mother was really fucked up, dude. When she was trying to kill us. That reminded me of Shutter Island when the mother, in her insane state, killed, the ch killed Leo's children. Killed their own children, that was messed up. Spoiler alert for Shutter Island. Here's Verna. Why are you here? Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. You and I are not friends. 
In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy a boat. Ha! Is that right? I can see it now. I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. You questioned everything I did, everything I believed to... to break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur in silk. Was it vengeance, Werner? Or do you prefer Klaus? Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. You hold me responsible for his end. Ha! There was no love lost between me and my brother. I am sure you can relate. Otto was merely the gravity that pulled me into your orbit. Or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep away. Why? What reason do you have for all this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest until I helped you to let go of the rock. Oops. And now, nothing beside remains. I remain. Despite you and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, I brought you something. I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. Damn. That's Otto Richter's younger brother. Wild. You really are beautiful. This man's weird, bro. Very strange dude. My brother returned to London soon after our disagreement. He enrolled at Cambridge University, but attends only the rare classes that hold his interest. I hear he took employment at a hospital laboratory, obsessing over his experiments. I suppose he seeks solace in the empirical truth of a chemical test. I am afraid for him. His evenings are spent alone, solving citizens' menial mysteries to pass the time. And I suspect he is growing paranoid. One of my agent's vehicles recently ignited during a surveillance operation. She was lucky to get out alive. There is only one man who could orchestrate such a feat. Or perhaps two. I saved my brother. He will never forgive me. Huh. Wild. Sherlock's lost the plot completely, huh? <laughs> I found it! I found it! I found it! And what is that? How far, um... Bruises may be produced after death. How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt. But this guy looks like John, huh? Practically. Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases oft hinge upon how a man died. Now, we can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo, one will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Well... Then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. 
I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you. I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rows because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. But those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rows? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. Uh, badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John. <laughs> <laughs> we got Watson, baby! I did think when I saw him now and that's John and like picked in my mind for a second there. That's awesome. What an ending. Okay, Dr. John Watson and Sherlock Holmes. And they will be in the next game together solving crime. Land cable, not connected. Couldn't care less. But that is awesome, guys. That is absolutely awesome. Sorry, I dropped something. But well, there you have it, my friends. Skip the credits and see if there's an after credit scene. I doubt it somehow, you know? That's it. That is Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Done and dusted. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I'd love to see now just like the other endings. Maybe we could go back and do it, actually. A Mother's Love. 1426 checkpoint. Let's see, 1426. That's a pretty long time ago, actually. But there was a lot of cutscenes. I want to see what the story is if we choose a different ending, man, you know? I kind of want to see. God damn it, this internet's pissing me off, dude. We might have gone too far back, though. Oh, no, it puts us right here. Let's see what the story is if it's John's fault. I kind of want to see. John is the killer. Let's see. I want to see what the, what the story is if John is the killer. I just want to see the other ending. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry. You knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. You. It was your idea. The, the sedative, that was you. She was hurting us. Sherry. I... I couldn't bear to see you suffer. So you killed my mother. My worst impulses, my darkest thoughts, they're you. You were a lie, John. A fiction. A crutch. No, I was... I was My friend. Is there Shut much up. difference? It doesn't seem like there might Please. be too much difference. We'll see. Shut up. What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he here? here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. A truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. Whoa, 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 Sherry. What are you doing? There is only one way through. Through what? What do you mean? My entire life... <laughs> Minecraft just gone. <laughs> my mind <laughs> well. has been compromised by a malignant force, by a perversion of rationality. By you, John. Oh, that's You're sad, tumor. actually. You're a poison, Sherlock. And like a tumor, you must be excised for the health of the patient. No. No, this is the lie, Sherry. 
I protected you. I am your friend, your brother. You know me. You know me. I was always there for you. When your mother lashed out, I took the hit. When you were alone, I held you. She was sick. I just... She needed to calm down. I... I helped her. You killed her. No. Yes. No. But, but it was not meant... This is, Please. This is messed up. Please. I'm scared. Wow. We've killed our imaginary friend. Are you all right? I, I think... Uh, on the balance of things... No. That is good news. To be unaffected by today's events would place you in a different pathology entirely. Your time on Cordona is over, Sherlock. Tomorrow we shall board a vessel back to London, and all this... It stays here. He's, he's gone. He's gone, Mycroft. I, I, need, I needed to take control. He, he would help me, but it was... It was a lie, because... because... But he's gone. I, kn I knew he was wrong. Do you see? I am free. I just had to act. Man, it's, it's really tough seeing Sherlock like this, huh? Yes. In that respect, you are your mother's son. Damn. So hopefully our in this ending our relationship with Mycroft is a little better. But I'm thinking, right? Is this all gonna be the same? Stuff with Vogel, I'm assuming that's all gonna be the same, right? I am all right. Okay. I returned to London and here. enrolled at Cambridge University. Their professors leave something to be desired, or perhaps I simply lack the interest in all but a few lectures. I prefer to spend my time at the local hospital pursuing things of practical use. Medical research, chemical tests and the like. Empirical truths. I try not to think about you. I try not to think about anyone unless it is in the course of an investigation. I've started to help people with their menial mysteries. It keeps the mind occupied. I cannot risk otherwise. I'm not like her. I'm not like you. I am all right. I like this ending more. I like this ending more. I wish we would have learned a little bit more about Minecraft though, 100%. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end this. The end of another series and the end of a beautiful series the day before Halo Infinite comes out. Perfect timing. I probably won't get this up today because of my internet. Hopefully, it will be all good tomorrow uh, and A-OK -okay for Halo. But thanks for the support on this series, guys. I know it's uh, not the, the most watched series I've ever done on the Apex Sound 2 channel, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And I appreciate everyone who has stuck here throughout the whole series. It's been my pleasure to serve you all, and I'll see you guys for more series over the coming months and years. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you for Halo tomorrow, hopefully, or today at this point, I guess. Um, check out my uh, check out my other videos. I'll be doing the Witcher reaction soon as well, and see you next time. Peace out.